What's going on guys, it's Investing Hustle here and today I'm going to do my top 2 stocks for the month of October. And before I get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Cyberworld. Cyberworld gave me a shout out on his channel so I'm here returning the favor. You guys should really check his channel out, especially if you're really into marijuana stocks because he seems to know a lot about them. So shout out to you Cyberworld. And like always, I'm going to do a review for my picks from last month. So let's get started. And the first stock I'm going to talk about is Alibaba. So if you're not living under a rock and you've been up to date with the investing community, then you will know that Chinese stocks have just been doing very poorly this year. There's many reasons as to why this happened. For example, the trade war has really negatively impacted these Chinese stocks. Also, Jack Ma retiring might have scared some investors away. But if you're a long-term investor, then you're probably not worried because you know that this company has a lot of potential for the long term. And as for my second company, my second company was Turtle Beach. I actually made some money off Turtle Beach because when I announced this company, um, it ended up going up 12% and then started to slowly go back down again. I actually ended up selling off most of my shares when it was starting to drop. So I ended up collecting 6% on Turtle Beach and then um, Turtle Beach continued to drop. I ended up picking some more shares again. Turtle Beach hit a low of like $19 but has recently bounced back up. Like I said on my last video, Turtle Beach is a very risky stock and it's very speculative. I'll try to keep you guys up to date with this company. I still see a lot of potential in this company, especially since earnings are coming up soon. So we'll see how this company does in the future. But like I said, this is a very high risk, high reward stock. And if you guys have been following my channel for the past eight months, then you will know that I love high risk stocks. That's how I grew my portfolio from 48,000 to over 110,000 in the past eight months because I've been investing in very high risk, high reward stocks. And so far things have worked out for me. So my top stocks from last month didn't do very well, but let's not forget, I've called out some pretty good companies. For example, Paycom went up 52% since I called it out on my top stocks video. A company Square ticker symbol SQ has been up, has went up 93% since I called it on my top stocks. Organogram ticker symbol OGI has went up over 50% since I called it out on my video in January. Apple has been up over 30% since I called that out. And even a company like Sony has been up 25% since I called it out. So just because my last month's stocks have done bad, it doesn't mean that in the long run they might not bounce up because I've called out some pretty decent picks. I do plan on releasing a video at the end of the year which will have all my top stocks in it. And I'll, I'll let you guys know what the gains or the losses were on those stocks. So I will, I will have all my top stocks in one video and I will show you the guys the gains or the losses from each pick and we'll see how well my top stocks have done. But that's not what I'm here for. Today, I'm here to talk about my top two stocks for the month of October. So let's get started. And the first company is AT&T, ticker symbol T. Now AT&T is one of the largest internet and cell phone providers in the world. Now me personally, I like to invest into companies that are close to their 52 week lows. And AT&T is currently down 12% on the year. And it does seem like the worst is over. I do see AT&T having the potential to go up to $40 per share. On top of that, 5G network is right around the corner, which can help drive back up the stock to its 52 week high, $40 or plus. And for you dividend investors, AT&T does offer a 6% dividend, which is very nice. My second company is IQEE, and excuse me if I pronounce that wrong, the ticker symbol is IQ. So pretty much IQ is the Chinese version of Netflix. And like all other Chinese companies, this company has taken a very huge hit lately. So this might create some buying opportunity. I'm not saying that this company is ready to take back off and hit its all-time highs again. But all I'm saying is that this company has a lot of potential. Since it's IPO, this company has seen some serious gains. Since that whole US and China trade war happened, this company has seen a massive sell-off. This company's share prices can continue dropping or they can easily bounce back up. I do see a lot of potential in this company and it can possibly hit its all-time highs again. So this is a very high-risk, high-reward stock and has dropped over 40% since June 20th. Like I said, I'm the type of person that loves to catch a company when it's close to its 52 week low. So right now this company is very risky, but you know what I like to say, no risk, no reward. So the real question is how low can this company go or is it ready to bounce back up and hit all time highs? And that's it for now. I try to make this a very quick and easy video to understand. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed then hit that notification bell and don't forget to smash that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time bye bye